Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakah Kodash. Double honor unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to the elect. What you're looking at on the screen is a photo of a license plate on the back of a car that says, Find Camp. Okay, this photo was taken by the brother Yahweh Sop. And this photo was taken yesterday on his way to camp. Okay. And um, the brothers, as well as myself, we found this picture to be spiritual. Okay. You know, the brother was on his way to camp. And as he was driving to camp, he seen uh, a, a license plate on the back of a car that said, find camp. Okay. And, you know, brothers might see things, you know, a lot of times brothers see things, you know, there's a spiritual meaning behind it, man. Okay. <laughs> you know, and uh, I just wanted to commentate on it because, like, like I said, I just found it to be spiritual, man, because, you know, the camps, you know, what we do is the most important thing in the world right now. Okay. Because prophecies is coming to pass and. The camps that are set up now are are being um pretty much that's that's the camps that are that are set up now is where the word of the most high is being pushed. All right, and, and through the word of the most high being pushed, that's how the elect of the nation of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you Israelite foreigners, that's how that's how the elect is waking up through this word being preached okay and that's how the brothers uh show their faith that's how the brothers work out their their salvation okay because by serving your by shimmy shy by going to the camps and, and teaching his word prophesying okay present your body as a living sacrifice all right that's 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 uh showing the most high that you want to be delivered and as it is written the scriptures say give diligence to make your calling and election short now we know that just coming to a camp is not gonna save you okay you know you gotta you know you're gonna be saved by your works and by by uh faith and believing in your heart by shimmy al all right and th those works is um not just on a saturday or whatever day you go to camp it's um every day you know, you're supposed to be an Israelite 24-7, man. Of course, with a balance, not being over-righteous in your day-to-day -day life. But you're supposed to live according to the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, man. Okay? You're supposed to serve your high by Shimei Shai. Like the scriptures say, give him no rest till he establish and make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Okay? But yeah. All right? You know, camp, camp is spiritual, man. And, you know, you got to take advantage of what the Lord, the, the, the Lord's program, man, because it's not going to always be around. All right. And, you know, last, you know, last couple of weeks, you know, we've been having um, councils here, you know, Great Millstone, New York City, you know, about brothers coming to camp on time, man. All right. And taking this thing more seriously. All right. Because the times are coming where, <clears throat> um, we're not going to be able to go out there no more. And, and the time is coming where the accuser is going to, he's going to um, come for the, the men of the Lord, man. All right? So with that being said, let me get a scripture. Let me see if I can find it. Yep. Sirach chapter 5, verse 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small, okay? You know, if the Most High shows you a sign or a wonder, you know, case in point, like the brother, he saw it, the back of a license plate, you know, it said fine camp. Now, you know, somebody that's not spiritual, they might watch this video and they might say, okay, so he saw the back of a license plate, so what, big deal? Okay, but 
you know, you're not looking at things in a, in a spiritual sense. All right. And that's very, that's an ignorant mindset to have. The word ignorant means not to know. You don't really understand how the most high, you know, works. Okay. You know, he works through, you know, signs and wonders. He works through men. All right. The spirit might hop on a brother to say something to you and rebuke you. But, you know, really that's the Lord getting on you, man. You can't look at it as a man getting on you. All right. So th the point is, is that things happen in the spirit, man. You know, a lot of times brothers might be uh, walking. They might see the numbers one, four, four. You know, it happens to me all the time. And, you know, that, and to me, that's that's a reminder of what we fighting for. All right. If you believe, you know, nobody can make themselves part of the elect. You have to be predestined, of course. But if you believe wholeheartedly that you are of the elect, then you're going to put on as the elect of the most high, like the scriptures say, man, you know, you're going to conduct yourself as the elect. All right. So when I see the numbers one, four, four, whether it be on somebody's license plate or, you know, on a bus or a poster. Okay. Or like, you know, any, any place I see the number one, four, four, it's, it's spiritual, man. Okay. Or we might see a, a poster that has a spiritual meaning behind it. Okay. You know, everything happens for a reason, man, you know, and the most high is daily reminding us, you know, that this truth is real, that, the, that, that he is real and that, you know, he, he's going to make his word come to pass, man. All right. Um, so it says, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small. All right. Um, now the last scripture I'm going to get is, um, See what I spelled it right. Man, perceive. Bear me for a second. Here it is. Job 33, verse 14 says, For the most high speaketh once, yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. Okay. I'm going to read that again. Job 33, verse 14. For the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, speaketh once, yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. All right. So the Most High speaks to you through many ways, man. Like I said, Most High can speak to you as it, as it reads. As you read on, it talks about how the Most High sealed men instructions while they're sleeping in, 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 in their dreams. All right. And the Most High speaks through men in their dreams. OK. And also, you know, the Most High speaks through speaks to men through his mouthpiece, the prophets. However, the Most High also said what? All right, I will show signs and wonders, okay? The Most High is showing signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth, man, okay? You know, the scriptures talk about uh, be not forgetful to entertain strangers, man. You know, because as it says, that has uh, entertained strangers unaware, roughly paraphrasing, man. All right, so the Most High... You know, he speaks to men in many ways, man. And everything that that happens to you happens for a reason, man. Or it's something that you might come across is a, is a meaning behind it, man. All right. And when all hell break loose, things are going to be happen, happening in the spirit for the men of the Lord. Such as, you know, just opportunities to survive. All right. You know, you might come across, you know... Somebody to give you gui guidance to where where food is at anything, man. You know, I'm just, you know, um, I'm just extrapolating, if you will. Okay, but but the point was made, man. All right. So um, this is just a short video, and I pray that it was edifying. And with that, I'm gonna say, shalom.